How do you create multiple email addresses under one Gmail account? There's a trick to this called plus addressing, and you can also do at Gmail or at Google Mail to have different email addresses. And we're going to take a look at how to manage all of that and what the plus addressing actually is. So if we look at what this email address is, and we go up to settings, and then go to see all settings, Inside of accounts and import, you can see send mail as right down here. And right now, this is just one Gmail, a random Gmail from the past called flippyfinapp at gmail.com. Now you can add other email addresses in here to, to manage them. But if you want them on one account and them all to come to this Gmail account and this inbox, then there's a few things you can do with this address or this email address on this single account. The first thing you can do is instead of using at gmail.com, you can actually use at googlemail.com. And so if we go into add another email address, that email address, we can give a name, and then we can say, okay, this one is flippy fin app at googlemail.com. I'm going to treat it as an alias and then click next step. And now you can see I have two different emails in here. The first one being my default and the second one being just a secondary email that comes to this inbox that is still the same Gmail account. And we can also do something called plus addressing which means we can have this first part of our email use a plus symbol and write anything else we want. So I could add another email address and maybe this one I'll call Flippy Fin Business. And the email address I'm going to say it's Flippy Fin. This is a this is a fun email to use, right? Then I use a plus symbol and I'm going to put in uh, biz for short, short for business at gmail.com. So if you put this email out there, or maybe it's like the email, like contact me for business inquiries or whatever, it will actually, people can use this email and it will still come to this same Gmail account. So we click next step and it adds it in here. So we have two different options in here, right? One is a, is a different um, domain here on Gmail because Gmail can use it comes to the same Gmail account, whether it's gmail.com or googlemail.com. And the other one, we can do this plus addressing to add plus anything we want. So we could like, you know, plus content, plus business, plus contact, anything like that, and just make as many as we want. They will all come into this inbox. Down here, it says when replying to a message. Ideally, I think what you would want is to reply from the same address as the message was sent to. So I would keep that check marked. When somebody sends you a message to any one of these, for instance, when you hit reply, it will go back to them from that same email they reached out to. So I think that's a good way to sort of keep it separate. And I'll show you some other ways to keep your inbox separate, adding some labels, maybe filtering what comes in. So if you really want to treat it as a different emails, you can do that. So we've got these three different emails. Let's run a quick test. I'm going to go ahead and go to another account, kind of drag this window over. So I have another account over here that's going to email this account. And so we're going to go to the inbox real quick. And then I'm going to compose a message over here. And this message I'm going to send to the Flippy Fin app plus biz at gmail.com and so yep that's the one I'm going to use and I'm going to just do a test email and we'll write test in the, sub, or in the body and we're going to send that and so that message is sending to the plus address and we should see it pop up over here on the left anytime and so once we see that I'll show you how we can actually there it is I'll show you how we can actually begin to sort the emails because if you make multiples of these they're all going to come into your inbox and so that could get pretty messy and if you want to handle them in their own way 
You can do one of two things. It kind of depends on your personal preference. And so I'm going to scale this back out real quick just to show you that worked and it came to this inbox. You can add labels. And so you can have labels down here for each of your uh, emails. And you can also split up your inbox depending on like who you're receiving the, uh, the emails from. So let's look at having multiple inboxes really quick. In the settings again, we're going to go to see all settings. We're going to come over here to inbox. And under inbox type, we can change this to multiple inboxes. And so inside of here, I believe you can only have five total. So that would be the one limit to this guy. But you can change these queries to be, for instance, if an email is sent to with a colon, um, then the flippy fin app plus biz at gmail.com. Then it's going to have its own little inbox. And I can even give that a section name. So I could call that business email. And you'll see how this shows up here in a second. So we have this uh, one extra inbox here. And if we go down, we can choose how many conversations are shown in that inbox. And we can choose where that inbox is positioned. So right now it's to the right. So I could say, now put it above. I want to see my business email first, and then I want to see all the other inboxes. And so once we do that, we can save changes. And you'll see now it goes business email, and then my regular inbox. And I can toggle this up and down. So that's one way to do it. I don't know if that's my favorite way to do it, but some of you might want to just be able to click on inbox and like see the separation and uh, kind of adjust that. My probably favorite way would be to create a label and a filter. So it sends emails to a folder. And so I'm going to undo this inbox really quick. And we're going to go back to a default inbox. And I'll save that. And so now I just have that default inbox. And what I would do is come down here to labels. I'm going to create a new label. I'm going to call this label business, for instance. And I'm going to go ahead and create it. So now I have this business label down here. Then I can create a filter. So if I go up to settings, see all settings, there's filters and blocked addresses. When I click on that, I can create a filter. Apparently I have one already, so I'm going to hit delete on that one. And I'm going to add a new one. And so we can create a new filter. You should see a button somewhere in the middle of your screen. And we can say any message that has a two, and then you can type in that plus addressing business email or whatever you have. Any email that's sent to that one, I want to label business. And so I'm going to do that first, then create filter. And I'm going to say apply label. And I'm going to choose the label business and then create that filter. So now I see that filter in here, just like that. Now, I don't think that this applies to emails you've already received, but any email that comes back in will then work. So you could always search for emails and search for that, any email that's to, um, you know, that business or whatever email you set up and then kind of apply a filter or apply the label to each one. However, you'll see in this business section down here, we would have our own inbox for anything business that comes through. And so let's go ahead and do that. We'll just run a quick little test again, send it to the Flippy Fin app plus biz at gmail.com. And then I'm just going to do a quick test here. Hey, hey, send. And there's one more thing I'm going to show you. Because of that change we made earlier, uh, where we said when we added that email address in, we said um, reply from that email. So I'm going to show you how that works. In the inbox, that email comes in. But also you'll see a, a little one icon down here because there's a new email that's been labeled business. Because we created that filter, it labeled that email that came in that was to the business address, and it put it in this business folder for us. 
And so you can create as many of these plus addressing emails as you want, and then just give them labels and add a filter for each one, and it's gonna to go to its own inbox. Now, if I were to click on that email, and let's say I want to reply to this email, when I click reply, you can see if I click on kind of this email uh, titling or the from and to area, it's actually gonna reply from the business Gmail, the plus address business Gmail. So that's pretty cool, and it makes it really easy to manage this because you don't have to constantly switch emails or go searching for an email that came in from a plus address, etc. And so you can easily just reply back and send that, and that will go out as the plus address business flippy fin. <laughs> um, yeah, and so that's how you can kind of create multiple email addresses here on one Gmail account and then be able to manage them, whether it's multiple inboxes, which, you know, you're limited to five there and it really clutters the inbox, in my opinion. So what I would probably do is just create multiple labels and then create filters that send any incoming email to that specific sort of, you know, quote unquote, inbox of uh, the email address that you've created. So that's how you can create multiple email addresses under one Gmail account.